All right, crew, we are back. Already did a video on the Ford Control Design turrets, but I wanted to go ahead and give you a rundown of mount uh, and just set up before I go ahead and get this mounted. It's, it's probably gonna go on my uh, scalper build that I built out last year with a lot of anodized green parts. So I guess we will start there, but we do have the Unity Fast mount. It's a little bit higher than I'm used to. You'll also notice that the mount does have backup sights within it. Um, so, got the front there, and then you can see the back. Um, this one is off of Custom Night Vision. They are the only ones that are offering a OD Green Anno Unity. So I snagged that up. The T2 itself is off of Brownells. The turrets... Uh, as well are off of Brownells, and those are the Ford Control Design turrets made to use a regular, you know, flathead screwdriver or something of that nature, so you aren't stuck using the, um, the spanner design, which is those guys there. Um, so with the Multitasker Nano here, I now have an option of using this side, or if I had to pop the, the Ford Control Design turrets off, I could go back to using um, the spanner design. So let's go ahead and hop into what else came in the box and what are the features on this optic. So you're obviously going to have your English user manual and then you have your multilingual manual there. Some foam and then they do give you a, a tool that works with their spanner turrets. I do have, and then this also has just a little Torx there for tightening down. And then either side can be used on the, the battery cap itself as well. So, and outside of that, <clears throat> I threw this in there. This is all for the, the Unity mount, came with its own wrench due to the, the height of it. A um, little bit more depth to, to get in there and, and tighten it up. So that is what comes with it. As far as the, the features and why I went ahead with the T2, um, obviously I am running night vision. This does offer four different night vision settings, eight daylight settings, and there is one setting um, that my understanding is a little bit higher intensity for if you're out in the desert um, or somewhere with a lot of light. So the, the battery on this is a CR2032. The battery life on this consistent operation um, is 50,000 hours, which is a really impressive uh, spec there. So pretty excited to, to play around with this thing and the fact that you literally can leave it on for, you know, what, four or five years um, is pretty crazy. Uh, additionally, it is a 2 MOA dot size and it is submersible down to uh, 80 feet. Additionally, with the... Um, the unity, uh, what am I, the magnifier uh, mount, you can you can go ahead and line up a magnifier on the back of this as well. So it does provide that option of use with a magnifier, but ultimately I snagged this thing up because it does have the night vision capabilities. It is a little bit taller and I was very curious about these backup sights on the, the unity mount um, all around great setup and looking forward to getting this thrown on my my scalper and getting it out there and running it it's definitely going to be a, a big change having uh, this tall of a amount which should be 2.26 if i remember correct so a pretty substantial uh difference compared to the eotech uh the eotech that i have been running on that particular build um still running an eotech on my my main build so i just wanted to tinker around with something different and give it a try. But I will catch you guys later. Run suppressed, stay blessed.